and that they should not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast, whose spirit was not faithful to God. Have you ever dealt with a stubborn, hard-headed person before? It is very difficult, isn't it? You try and try with them, but to no avail. On the other hand, a humble person may give up his opinion and would possibly admit that he was wrong and rectify the error. A meek person deals with simply with everyone and never argues much or acts stubbornly. He considers the other opinion with respect and dignity as an unbiased person, not as an opponent. He honestly searches for what is good in it and if he finds it right, he accepts it. Some people when you talk to them, make you feel that their minds are completely locked as to no uh, any understanding. Nothing is acceptable to them except their own opinion, and in a stubborn way, they reject anything else without any discussion. A person may continue in his stubbornness no matter how many are opposing his opinion, no matter what their positions are and whether their talk is convincing or not. This obstinacy could uh, be due to buried pride, which considers giving up one's opinion against dignity and self-respect. One might continue in one's stubbornness for a long time. One might see the bad effects of insisting on and sticking to one's wrong opinion and in one's stubbornness would not care. The heretics are an example of those stubborn people who didn't listen to neither the church nor the synagogues and carelessly split the church. A stubborn person loses people as well as himself. He could also lose his faith and consequently lose his eternity. At the same time, he loses the purity of his heart and thus no humility, no love, no understanding and no gentleness. There is a big difference between stubbornness and firmness in what is right. Stubbornness is the persistence on what is wrong. It's amazing how stubborn people justify their stubbornness as strength of personality, and they might imagine themselves heroes in their resistance. Some people with a weak personality might admire them. When they see themselves surrounded by many, their stubbornness grows more and more. They might think that many support them, or it is an evidence of the rightness of their opinion and attitude. The Bible connects stubbornness to hardness of the heart. The stubborn sinners who insist on their faults are hard in heart and the work of grace does not soften them. The Apostle Paul says to them, If you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Stay with us and listen to the following story. Kindness is a simple gift. My family and I were taking a well-deserved vacation to Disneyland. I had never been there before and was eagerly anticipating experiencing the magic. There was another reason that this trip was special. My father was a workaholic who worked long hours. I longed to spend time with him. I wanted to be able to sit down with my father who I loved more than life and just talk. It always seemed like there was never time. I didn't get any sleep that night. I lay in my bed and stared out the window. I knew that my father's work was going to be left at home finally. After a brief breakfast, we hit the open road. It was all smooth sailing for the first couple of hours until I unexpectedly felt a sharp jerk. We coasted to the side of the road and my dad said something about the engine being shot. We were in the middle of four lanes of traffic, so he decided the easiest thing to do would be to flag someone down and get a ride into town. An hour later, my dad was still waving his hands at each and every passing car, but it wasn't going any good. Not a single soul would stop to assist my helpless family. Finally, 
Father gave up and decided to walk into town. I was certain it was a very long distance. I pleaded with him to stay and try again, but he was deaf to my pleading. He just said that he wouldn't let anything ruin this trip for me. My heart ached as he put on his coat and began to walk away from the car. My dad has a back problem and he was too stubborn to admit that he wasn't in any condition to even walk a couple of miles. Then I saw a figure out of the window. It was a lone trucker. Down his rig, I didn't see it until I realized that his truck was parked on the other side of the road. He had walked across four lanes of traffic to get to us. The feeling I felt at that moment is indescribable. I was truly touched that this man cared so much. Not one other person had taken time out of his or her own selfish life to stop and see if everything was okay. But this man was different. He didn't even know us and he didn't expect anything in return. Father got his ride back to town and our car was repaired. My visions of Mickey were rekindled as was my faith that angels do exist. Because of that man's actions, my father and I had the opportunity to grow close again and I still cherish my genuine Mickey Mouse autograph. None of this would have been possible if that man had given us the gift that he did, the gift of kindness. So if the father wasn't so stubborn, he wouldn't have had to walk all the way to town. Note, the Bible warns us not to be stubborn against the Lord. When we follow our own selfish desires and inclinations, we will eventually pay the price and face the consequences. As believers, we must do our best to be humble and obedient. God wants us to rely and trust in Him. Only when we obey and surrender our lives to God can we experience true fulfillment and purpose in life. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, I am sorry for being stubborn and like Jonah, I cannot escape what you have planned for me. I now see clearer things, even though right at this moment, I do not know what is it, what you want me to do, but I know I do not have to ask since you have provided everything. Help me, Lord, to live a life of meeting.